Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and it has begun. The first, probably the biggest, wave of this atmospheric river is hitting the Sierra right now on the west coast. You can see Palisades Tahoe snowing at the top. Snow levels will be an issue, as I suspected, with this first wave. Best snows above 7,000 with this uh, first wave, maybe even higher at times. That, that snow level could go higher. But then this, the level will start to drop back down with the other waves coming with lower snow levels but this first one's really bringing in a lot of that pacific heat um, with this uh, this initial uh, wave so let me just look at uh, my bullet points really quick um, so this is all on track atmospheric river 1227 through probably 14 with about four to five different waves of moisture and again we're talking feet of grand total accumulation with some places exceeding five feet um, in a few locations so we'll go through all that the snow timeline and everything coming up here um, in just a, just a sec. Let me just show you what this looks like on infrared. Um, so there it is, the lime green representing the Pineapple Express. It is here. It has arrived. Uh, this initial storm system is probably the largest of the bunch. Um, you can see the next low lined up, and then there are other waves. Again, four to five of those lined up with this. So it is significant. Um, in fact, when you look at the forecast for this, the latest... IVT transport to uh, integrated vapor transport. You can see on the scale this first one, 2728, is strong to extreme. Um, so you almost always get a rise in snow levels out of that. And then the other waves are still significant. I mean, you're still looking at moderate intensity, 1230, 1231, 1, and then it kind of backs off to weak after that through the fourth. But, you know, this is all coming together. Um, I wrote about it this morning on my blog, just put this up a few minutes ago, chrystomer.com, feet of accumulation through January 4th, so take a look at that. I go through the setup, I look at the pattern, um, it, it is the same as I've been showing you for probably the last four or five days, zoomed out version of the jet reaching far to the west, a conveyor belt of moisture, the Pineapple Express, so whatever moisture we can load onto this in terms of water vapor, we can transport it all the way into the west and orographically lift it and enhance the precip from the Sierra to the Wasatch, the Tetons, and into the mountains, especially the western slope of Colorado. So looking at all of that in my uh, forecast here. So back to the blog, we'll go into uh, some of the, um, the timing here. Here is the forecast radar and satellite. So there is 515, uh, today 1227. Um, by tomorrow morning at Wednesday at 6, everything's moving through the interior into Colorado. There's Thursday. Here comes the next storm. Another one right there on Friday at 6. You can see they're just lined up. Another one at Saturday at 6 hitting the West Coast. And that moves into the interior on Sunday morning. It's New Year's Day. Um, and there's 11 p.m. on 1-1. So storm moving through the interior. Another one is sitting out over the Pacific ready to move on shore. So this is a very, very active pattern here with, I mean, this is a solid atmospheric river set up here for the west so that's timing take a look at that on my uh, blog let's go into some of the uh, the forecast totals here and I do this in two different phases for the west so 1227 all of today through 1229 um, most places are looking at one to two feet in the Sierra uh, more in Mammoth versus Heavenly Mammoth's higher up a little better uh, a little better cooling at those higher elevations. One to two feet across the uh, the Wasatch, including Bryan Head down in southern Utah. About a foot up in the Tetons. Um, about uh, one to two feet up there in Washington State down to Oregon. So good numbers there. In Colorado, the big numbers with this uh, initial phase, 1227 through 1229, will be across the western slope and in southwest Colorado with less as you go east of Vail into Summit County. Less there, but still five, six, seven inches. And some snow down in northern New Mexico. I often forget about that, but 6 to 12 inches down through Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire, and Tahoe. out of this wave number one. All right, here is phase two, and this will capture the remainder of the river, 1230 through 14. Another 40 to 70 inches in the Sierra. Um, I've got a list of grand totals I'm going to go through just after this. Um, but another 40 to 70 there. Another 40 inches in the Wasatch. That's awesome. And look at Colorado, um, another one to two feet across the western slope and in southwest Colorado, really good. And some nice numbers through um, areas east of Vail this time, so about a 10 to 12 inch number there. Um, up in the Tetons, another one to two feet, and looking good through parts of Idaho as well and into the Pacific Northwest. You can see the numbers there. Um, so I did go through some of the grand totals 
on my blog and timing. So take a look here. This is really interesting. Forecast grand totals. Mammoth, I think, just about 100 inches. Um, all of today through 1-4. That's a grand total. Um, Calisades, uh, Tahoe, Kirkwood, Heavenly, about 60, 60 to 70 inches. Alta, about 70 inches, roughly. So this is a big one, about 70 inches. Um, through Little Cottonwood, probably 60 inches or so. 55, 60 inches in Big Cottonwood. Um, Wolf Creek, you're looking at about 50 inches. Crested Butte, 40 to 50. Um, took that down from yesterday um, just a little bit. We'll see where we end up if we get the right trajectory. Um, Aspen Snowmass, uh, 34 inches, so just about 3 feet. Um, grand total. Jackson Hole, about 31 inches, so between 2 and 3 feet. I also went into a snow timeline for the Wasatch right here. Um, so you know when the big powder days are, um, all the way from 12, 27 through 1, 4. Obviously the big days are 27, 28, 30, 31, and 1. Um, I also went into uh, the numbers for the Northeast, which I have in here. And there really isn't much to talk about 12, 27 through 1, 4. You might have a clipper come through with 1 to 2 inches of snow. Um, a storm that comes through on the new year is warm, mainly rain. So... That's going to do it, guys. Uh, really like what I'm seeing here across the West. I'll end on this, uh, the 1230 to 1-4 map, with all the big numbers yet to go. Enjoy it, guys. Be safe out there with these avalanche conditions increasing, the risk increasing, and thank you for tuning in here.